Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a crate. So we are going to start with a cube. Um, if you can go ahead and grab that one, open up a scene of Maya and let's get started. Uh, I think we could do maybe like a five by five by five just to give us some space and then let's do like four on each just to start with. First thing I want to do is I want to take all these edges so you can just hold shift and double click. There we go, got them all. And let's uh, bevel them. So control B and then make that two segments. And make the fraction like 0.3 is pretty good. Oh, looks like I forgot one. If you forget one, you'll have to go back and do it um, again. You can't just like re-bevel it or bevel that one. It'll make it a little wonky. All right, next let's go into face mode. And you want to hold tab, select one, and then double click the next. And it'll kind of like perfectly capture that ring. Okay, make sure you got them all. And then once you have them, we're going to do control E to extrude. And up that thickness. Ooh, actually, before we even extrude it, what we should do is we can go use our multi-cut tool. So hold shift and then hold right click and grab your multi-cut. And I want to add a ring here and a ring here and a ring here and a ring right here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to connect this one with this vertex if, if you can. And then click enter and then click this one and connect it to this vertex. There we go. You can do the same thing on this side. Click this one, connect it to that guy, click this one. Oh wait, I did the wrong one. Click this one, connect to this guy, then the next one. Okay, that should be good. Now you can go back into face mode and hold tab or hold shift, click one, and then double click the next to get all of those guys. And then you also want to select this strip that you just made on either side. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and do control E and up that thickness. 0.25 is probably good. All right, and then we're going to go through and we're going to bevel some edges. So you can go ahead and double click on these inside edges and these edges as well. So you're just grabbing like all edges that need to be 90 degrees. You're going to grab them and we're going to bevel them. So grab this one. You can speed ahead as well if you don't need to watch this. All right, I think I got them all. I'm just going to go through real quick and like double check. You can also um, see in wireframe mode which ones you've selected. Oh, there we go. Forgot that one. You really want to make sure you don't forget any because if you do, you'll have to undo and select it again. Okay, once you've got them all, then you're going to do control B and give it like two segments. All right, and that should be good. So uh, you can also scale down the fraction. 
Perfect. So you can either leave it looking like this or you can click three and kind of see how that's turning out and if you want to keep it like that. Um, but yeah, that's like a super, super basic crate that's kind of like rounded and kind of like low poly. Um, you can also like give it like a wood texture if you want. Um, I feel like there is a wood texture in Maya, but it sometimes has issues. Oh yeah, there is a wood texture. Looks a little wonky. <laughs> Before you add any texture to anything, let's just save it. Um, oh yeah, don't forget to click on Arnold and grab a Sky Dome light. Oh yeah, so like my wood texture doesn't even show up really. So what I would probably do is I would go to um, polyhaven.com and you can find wood textures here for free actually, which is kind of awesome. Um, I don't know which one you guys want to try and use, but they're all really good. I guess we could do plywood. Um, I usually just do 2K since I don't need it for like anything huge. Um, and then you can just download it. Once it downloads, you'll want to um, open up those files. In Maya, how we're going to use it is we're going to assign a new material. Do shader, AI standard surface. And then under the um, color, click that little checkered. Do 2D texture and then grab a file. Click this little folder. And then you'll go to wherever you downloaded that. And then you want to grab the color of it. All right. And then I think I'm going to set it to raw. I forget if that's what you're supposed to do. Also, you can delete the history of your box and that way your um that way your texture will just show up immediately. You can also add in that uh roughness image. And then the last thing was the normal map, but I don't think it has any normal. Technically, you would add that under geometry, under bump mapping. Change it to tangent space normals, and then grab that file. Yeah, I don't really know if there's any normals on this one, but who knows? And then you can do Arnold render and see how it's looking. So depending on how you want your crate to look, uh, this could be a good or bad thing. Sometimes on um, models like this, what I like to do is like add the same wood texture, but then um, like coat a certain part of it differently. Um, that's kind of how you could do it. But yeah, that's like a super simple and easy crate um, if that's what you're looking for. I usually also just add a plane into my scene and make the object sit on that plane. And then I usually add in the checker texture to that plane. So it looks like this. And then you can kind of see like how the roughness is playing out. Like if you need to change the roughness, maybe make it a little less reflective. So I just plugged in the roughness instead to the specular map. I kind of like how that looks a bit more. But yeah, so that's like a quick and easy crate. So you can kind of like duplicate that guy, spin him around. Kind of like cute little building blocks. This is me just kind of like messing around, adding something fun in. If you would also like to do that. I think it's kind of fun to make them like dynamic. But yeah, that is it for this tutorial. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I know this one's like super, super simple and easy. Um, I'm also not super far into 3D texturing. Um, so I'm sure you guys could come up with some like really fun, awesome 3D textures to add onto it, which I would love to see. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you guys 
haven't already signed up for my newsletter, that link is in the description. You'll get little like monthly notes from me on um, just like what I'm doing that month and what tutorials are coming out for you guys to watch and things like that. Um, you could also um, buy me a coffee with my virtual tip jar if you guys feel like supporting me in that way. You can also follow me on TikTok where I make all like sort of fun, um, just like jokes and things about 3D modeling that you guys might enjoy. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment any questions below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.